Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Bean, and I just want to deliver this video to you guys. It's kind of a weird one, but until I can do lives, uh, I might do some things like this and just turn the camera around, um, show you guys a little bit of uh, what me and Zulu do or are doing that day. This is just a little meditation. And if you don't know meditation, can be the same as praying. It can be different, but it can be the same. And I pray and I meditate um, quite often. Usually, like in the woods, is a much easier place for me to do it. And um, anyways, today was just meditating in uh, my friend's backyard. My old, that's my old uh, apartment there. And just soaking in the sun too, being thankful for the sun. Because the night before and the bus was the coldest night of the year and I do not have heat and man, me and Zulu were cold. So we took the opportunity just to enjoy uh, the morning and just, uh, you know, meditate and bond. So I'm not going to talk for too long. Actually, I'm about done talking because I do share some pretty cool, I think some pretty cool information um, about bonding about dogs, my philosophy uh, about dogs. And um, it's kind of, I think it's useful information. So if you have 24 minutes and you don't mind uh, hitting that like button, like my man Blue Blood says, you know, wipe your, wipe your feet before you come in the house, man. Hit the like button. And I think you guys could, um, there's things that you can take away from this. So enjoy. This is Bean and Zulu, and we'll see you uh, actually tomorrow. Peace. I did. I helped a blind man to see. I did it for the love of you. <laughs> well, yeah, 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 that's why they crucified me.
This is the same leg I just did. <laughs> uh, I forgot which leg. Yeah, this is it. I get it. It's about working. It's about working the dogs into your life. Your life. Um, the dogs can be a variety of different personalities, but they will adapt to you with their personality. And they'll be cooler than you could ever pick. So don't be afraid of whatever personality of a dog. Live your life with them. And uh, <laughs> I remember my uncle told me one time, he said, dog is gonna show you what they know. It's, gonna, it's up to you to kind of 
pick up on it. You know, some dogs are gonna be great protectors in any setting. Sport, fight world, they'll show off their skills, but in real life, they'll wait for an opportunity. They could be service dogs for the handicap. Uh, they could be, you know, just good pets. They could be farm dogs. But that personality is going to shine through uh, as long as you live your life with the dog. So me, I'm going to coach athletics, track and field. And I'm injured. And I'm out of shape. And I need to rehab. My right glute, as we could see, is not on. Glute need. Glute minimus. They are dormant. <laughs> my left knee is, um, I have an obstruction. I think my fibula doesn't move. My um, tibialis is frozen or stuck or just locked so it causes a lot of knee pain and um so i'm just now getting to the point where i can run i don't know if i'm in frame as well i'm bending over like this but i'm just trying to get flexion again in the knee and i'm trying to be consistent but i'm using zulu for assistance and he likes it it's a good time to bond i look him over really close in the morning anyways um, just a habit. I like to, when they're puppies, I like to pick through them everywhere, anywhere you can imagine, in any kind of way you can imagine. You know, and it's just building. I'm not doing this to cut their nails. I'm just doing it. And I'm telling you how much time I spent all over this dog. You know, he knows when I get into this mode, he's like, ah, oh, we're gonna be here for a while. Yeah, he pulled away there, right? But I'm just saying, um, I use him for the support here, and it's good bonding time, and it's good PT time. Okay. He could be anywhere here. He, you know, he could be running around. I did call him back one time. But he could get up and leave, but he loves this. And I, you know, I massage him too. Which, I don't know, I've been thinking, not to toot my own horn, but that might be part of my gift. I'm trying to learn more about it. Hands, like when I um, massage people or when I saw massage dogs, uh, they love it. It's like, and I can tell when I touch a dog and I need to, I feel like I need to massage more than touching I do that with people too you know so hey ladies if I'm if we're if we're just sitting close and I put my hand on your thigh or something like that before long I'm gonna have my thumb digging in there I'm like oh, rectus femoris is a little tight with the insertion that's just I don't know why that's turned into who I am and I do it with dogs and they love it and I just like to, I think about fascia, but I like to break up their fascia around their spine and they just go into it. Oh, yeah. I do that a lot with Zulu, as you can tell. So, I'm looking him over really heavy because I did find some ticks on him. I'm not sure what kind. They're small and they're white. So, it's not a wood tick, and the deer tick that I've ever seen are black. These are white. So, uh, I've been searching him even more than normal, but it's pretty common for me to dig all over in him, put my fingers in his ears, look in his ears. Uh, mastiffs get a little acne. And you gotta stay on them, you gotta clean all of this. I clean them a lot. But I, the way you get to clean it is you just, you spend time with them and get them used to that. You do, 
And then he was doing that all the time, man. It's, okay, forget it. But this stuff right here, massive owners will tell you, it kind of smells like uh, stank. Smell like dirty socks. Dirty socks. So if you keep a rag, what I do, uh, I have several rags. Uh, or even to tell you the truth, wet wipes. You know, but I'll spray that Dawn dish detergent on a rag and I'll clean them. It's the, the blue Dawn with the duck, with a little yellow duck on. That's the only kind. Don't don't get gain because it's 90, and, you know, 25 cent at the dollar store. Don't do that. Get the blue Dawn dish detergent with the yellow duck, duck on it. It's safe for the dog's skins, but it's going to kill uh, most parasites. It's not a, you know, cure-all. But I'll spray that on a rag and I'll just clean, clean, clean all of his muzzle. And I'll clean his head because he don't like that in the shower. You know, I get that all donned up. And then I'll light mist, mist it because he hates water to get in his ears. That That's one that he'll fight me on because that, that hurts him. But uh, you can tell, like, I just spend so much time doing this with him that it's a bonding moment. It's a bonding moment and all of this bonding really counts in your obedience training or any kind of training that you, you know, take off on. Me and Zulu, hopefully, God willing, are going to do, um, we're going to do some protection work, hopefully, with my boy Angelo out in California. This is with or without a puppy uh, from him. Well, that's going to be out in the summer. So currently what me and Zulu are doing is we're just kind of tightening up on our understanding of our obedience because I've allowed Zulu to be a certain way for a long time and golly, he's so, he's so cool. He wants to be with me. So it's easy for him. It's easy for me to, to allow him to be lax on some of our commands. But when you're doing bite work, you can't be lax. Like it has to be kind of precise and that's the sport of it. Trust me. I differentiate between the sport and actual, like, um, real life scenario. I'm on the side. I totally believe, and I'm 100% uh, come here, Zoo. 100% believing that in real life scenario, if you spend enough time, this connection, this bond with this dog that is a protector, right? That in a real life situation he will yeah, but i want to learn the sport too because that's fun that's fun to do it's fun to do you know what think of this right football is a really fun sport i played for a long time i played in the college what's up to all my college roommates uh, well just uh teammates i don't so much love football anymore I like watching either college or football but i tell you this i can play and if anybody challenges me, like, one play in any league in the world. I got one play in any league in the world. Uh, to be truthful, I'm too old for running back now, but I, I'll play DB. I was a better running back than a DB, but I was a great DB. Read between the lines. But give me one play in the NFL. Make the ball go my way. I guarantee you. In that one play, I'm going to succeed. This is... 100% so I I know football I can play football I don't watch it anymore but the best football player that there's ever been I don't know who it is if you're gonna say Lawrence Taylor that might be my, my vote it might be Walter Payton my man could run kick throw whatever the best best and toughest Ronnie Lott whatever Ray Lewis Dick Buckus they're not necessarily our best military defensemen are they real life stuff is different than the sport right many men on the battlefield have you know cut off a tip of their finger and continued with battle so i'm saying real life with these dogs these uh what molasses um they they will prove themselves i just hope they never have to but the sport of it the sport of it is a whole different thing. So we're going to go and try to learn the sport. Uh, 
fight work. I don't know if it's, it's more schutzen. It looks a little bit more like military training, like all this, you know, bite on the ankle, bite on the arm, bite where you can bite, homie. Don't be looking for a sleeve. So that's going to be cool. But the connection with the dog is the most important thing. Live your life with the dog. That's my point. You don't have to get a Vishla because you jog. It's a smart choice. I like Vishlas and they're good joggers. But, like, say you want to get into jogging. I hate to crush you because I'm a track coach and I understand this. Even me, I got some pounds on me, right? If I want to, I'm going to get into jogging, brother, 20 minutes at 10 minute pace. That'll do you good. You'll run two miles. You come back, your shirt will be just full of sweat. And if you brought this dog, a cane corso on you, who's healthy, whatever, right? Even a puppy, uh, two miles at 10 minute paces, A-okay. Now you get yourself a bishla because you want to get into jogging. And two 10 minute miles, he's going to be looking at you like, yo. I mean, they trot six minute pace. You feel me? So Zulu can trot 10 minute pace. And, you know, you, a lot easier when he was younger, too. But um, live your life with the dog. They'll adapt. Okay? Make a connection. I hope I got this footage. <laughs> I might just upload it just like it is. No edits, right? Alright, man. Love you. You know you're free. I've been a roommate. Cause I don't you know, have a home Like I know daddy, I just love you <laughs>